don't forget Jesus is talking about how the kingdom of heaven like him to be praise God in verse 3 they that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them I have told you what the lamb stand for. But they took no oil with them. Verse 4. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lambs. So what made the other five foolish? What made them to be foolish? Praise God. And what is that oil? Hallelujah. They took the word. But they didn't take the oil. What made them to be foolish? Now we can see that we bring out to Psalm 45. Psalm 45. Psalm 45. Are you in Psalm 45? Verse 7. He said, Thou, that is God Himself. That word, Thou, means God. Thou lovest what? Righteousness. Who love righteousness? God. Thou loveth who? Righteousness. And hatest wickedness. Therefore, God, thy God, have anointed thee with what? The oil, the oil, the oil, the oil of what? Gladness above thy fellows. The oil, David loveth righteousness and hated what? Wickedness. God anointed him with oil, oil, oil of gladness. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9 confirmed it. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9. If you are there, can we read it again? One to go. Thou hast loved what? Righteousness. And hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, had anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. So, it is righteous to live, to have, to stay with the spirit of gladness. Remember that we are born again. Remember by condition. They were virgins. But they were not found in their vessels. The oil of what? Gladness. Praise God. When you are that man, that woman, one of the ministers said about anger. Bitterness yesterday. When you are this type of person that find it difficult to be happy, to live a joyful life, you will run dry in life. 
you will miss heaven and you will equally miss God's blessings here on earth praise God Let's see the book of Revelation chapter 19. Revelation 19 verse 8 verse 7 to 9. Revelation 19 verse 7 to 9. It says what? One, two, go. Let us be glad and rejoice. Again, let us be glad and rejoice. And again, let us be glad and rejoice. And give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife had made herself what? Ready. And to her was granted that she should be what? A red in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true saints of God. He said, For the life, for the Fine linen is the righteousness of sins. If you claim to be born again, if you claim to be a man, a woman, no matter how many years, no matter your title, if you are this kind of person that doesn't go with the spirit of joy, spirit of gladness, in serving God, in following God, you are deceiving yourself. Praise God. The person is deceiving himself or herself. Why? In, in Deuteronomy 28, can we see it? No matter what you are facing on earth, you are not the first person That have gone through that thing or is going through that thing. Are you in Deuteronomy 28? Now, I want you to read verse 15 first. It says in verse 15, But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to do what? To observe, to do all his commandments. Remember all, all his commandments. And his word, statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these causes shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God will not come to you. Jesus will not come to you when you are under a cause. He can only visit you when you are in what? Gladness. Now look at verse two, uh, 47. Look at verse 47. Why it is a cause if you are not having joy. Are you there? Are you in verse 47? Can we read it? One to go because thou serveth not. Eh? Read it again, read verse 47 again. Read it the third time, I know the reason. Now, what will happen to you in verse 48? One, two, go. Have you seen it? 
praise God. We are still looking at the word oil and what made them to be foolish. When you are a man, a woman, listen, you, you are not the one that make yourself. You don't have your life. Jesus told you and I, without me, you can do nothing. So why are you deceiving yourself? If you are a Christian, claim to be born again, no matter where you worship, if the spirit of gladness, if the spirit of joy and happiness depart from you, you are going nowhere. Heaven is not meant for you. If the trumpet sounds now, you are going to hell for hell. Praise God. And God will never visit such a person. Let's see Psalm 92 concerning oil. Psalm 92 concerning oil. Are you in Psalm 92? Reading from verse 10. If you want to overcome your enemy, he said, Bet my horn from verse 10. He said, Bet my horn shall thou what? Exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. I shall be anointed with what? When there is oil in your life, what happened? In verse 11, he begins to let you know. He said, my eye also shall see my desire on my enemies. And my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. It takes the oil for you to flourish. It takes the oil for you to defeat your enemy. He said, he shall grow like the cedar in Lebanon. He said, those that pl be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the course of our God. He takes the oil to be planted in the house of God. He takes the oil to flourish in life. Look at verse 14. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. When there is joy and gladness consistently in your life, you have not lost anything because definitely God will remember you to bless you. He said they shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is what upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. So oil represents so many things. Physical oil. Or it represents food. There are food you can't cook without what? Oil. Oil, you can't ride your car without what? Oil. Praise God. We have generator outside. This generator cannot work without what? Oil. All the machines in factories that produce one thing or the other, there must be what? Oil. Anything that must function and function right, there must be what? Oil. Praise God. We have our spiritual oil. And if you don't have it, You'll be grounded. Hallelujah. So the five wise virgins fill their vessels with what oil. Praise God.
But in this Psalm 92, the, when fresh oil comes, verse 11 told you, it said, My eye also shall see my desire on my enemies. So, who are those enemies? Praise God. Let's see Galatians chapter 5. They are enemies. If you don't have oil of God, your enemies will always rule over you. Are you in Galatians chapter 5? Let's see our enemies. Praise God. In this part of the world, when we are talking about enemy, our mindset is on that woman, on that man, that witch or wizard. But not knowing that if you didn't deal with the right enemy, then the outside enemy can come. But when you allow the oil that deal with the enemy is there, the one enemy inside, when you allow the oil of God to deal with that, no enemy anywhere physically can touch you. Praise God. Galatians chapter 5. Let's see verse 19. Now, the works of the flesh are what? Manifest. Which are this. What do they call it? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, invite, murder, drunkenness, rebellion. And such life of they which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not, shall not inherit, inherit the kingdom of God. Praise God. So, you need the oil to destroy, to uproot these enemies for you to be able to meet the standard. If you don't have oil, you can't come against them. Praise God. A lot of us are in Christ, born again, so sad. The oil to destroy the spirit of fornication is not there, and it takes oil to destroy the spirit of fornication. The oil to destroy lies is not there, the oil to destroy the spirit of drunkenness is not there. But you are in one department or the other, you can even be called apostle or prophet, you can even be called pastor or evangelist. But the oil is not there. We are not talking about the title. Praise God. When the oil is there, these powers cannot stop you. Rather, you will stop them from functioning. But if the oil is not there, my dear, you are in danger. Yesterday, we heard about three things that is enmity with God. In First John chapter 2, in verse 12 to 17. Let's see. First John. Chapter 2. From verse 12. He said, I write unto you little children. Because your sins are forgiven you. 
for his name's sake. I write unto you fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you little children, because you have known the father. I have written unto you fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abided in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Now, what did he say in verse 15? One, two, go. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. What is in that world? Look at verse 16. One, two, go. For all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Verse 17, finally, one to go. And the world passes away, and they lost thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Praise God. One day alcohol will cease. One day fornication will cease. One day lying will cease. And so on and so forth. But where will you find yourself? Praise God. So you need your oil to destroy these things. You need the oil to do away with these things. Praise God. So oil is not only for gladness and joy. I told you all oil is for so many, they use it for so many things. Oil is not only for gladness and joy. Oil is also, also for what? To destroy the works of what? The flesh. Praise God. Let's see what is this psalm. 104 concerning oil. Psalm 104. If you are there, can we see verse 15? Psalm 104, verse 15. It says, And wine make it what? Make it glad the heart of man. And what happened to the oil? Want to go. And oil to make his face to shine. Another thing that will make you to shine in life and before God and before man is what? The oil. Praise God. If you don't have the oil to shine, if you don't have the oil, to continue Jesus will not meet you praise God the oil to shine the oil to continue don't be in the church and you don't have oil don't be in the church and you don't have oil don't claim to be born again and you don't have oil we are not arguing of your being born again. After all, you are among the ten virgins. But there is no oil. So if rapture happens now, where are you going? Praise God. Get your face to shine. When you have the oil of the Holy Ghost, it will brighten you. The oil of the Holy Ghost will illuminate you. It will make you to be radiant. That oil will make you to be desired. Of God, God, God and man. 
press God. When the oil is there, God will desire you. When the oil is there, man will desire you. That's why on Thursdays, every Thursday in this place, I don't joke with anointing service, but including my co-workers, they are always absent on the what? On anointing service. Worshippers, they always come when they will hear somebody's here. But the real thing, they escape it. And that's why he said a lot of things going wrong. Because you can't succeed in this race without or here. Praise God. If you want desire from God and from men, if you want the king to desire you, remember we are the bride. If you want Jesus to desire you, being the king, you need oil of God, of the Holy Spirit. Can we see Psalm 45 again? Psalm 45. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. The king's daughter. The king's daughter. Who is the king's daughter? Huh? Who is the king's daughter? 